So one of my favorite things to do in the spring is to take some of my herbs and get a cutting and make more plants. These will be free plants. And so I have already showed you how I like to do thyme, oregano, mint, and sage. And today I'll show you how I do lavender. And this is a lot like how you do sage. And so just take a cutting about, oh, anywhere from six to eight inches long. And we will remove the lower portion of the leaves so we have a bare stem there and now we're going to use a root hormone and this will help promote root growth you can get this online and I've also seen it at home improvement centers and moisten it and then you'll want to dip it into your rooting powder I just stick it right there in the bottle I've not had a problem with contaminating the bottle by doing this but some people prefer to pour a little bit of it out and then discard the excess powder but I've had this bottle probably eight years and it's been doing great for me okay so now just transfer it to some potting soil mix which has been moistened make sure that it has good contact with the soil and we want to use potting mix and not seed starting mix because we need that little boost of nutrition that you will find in potting mix and make sure you're using a cup that has really good drainage that is very important the size pot that I'm using is five inches in diameter and four inches deep I found this uh, as a seasonal item at a store called Dollar Tree however I don't know if they carry them this year you could certainly even use just a little plastic cup from the grocery store and put some holes in it. You probably don't want to use a cup any bigger than this, however. You can use some that are smaller. That would be fine. And now you'll just place it in a shady area. I like to put mine under my patio table. And I mist it lightly with water, just using a spray bottle about every other day or so. And this is before the temperatures have really started to warm up and the roots will begin to grow before it gets into the hot summer temperatures. So keep it watered, make sure you're checking on it every few days that the soil is staying moist. And after about, probably about a month, you can start to feed it every 10 days with a water soluble fertilizer, which is made for vegetables. And after about five months, I had a really nice root system on the plant. So I'll transplant this into my square foot garden. And if you also are using the square foot garden method, um, you will put one per square foot. Okay, and if you're not familiar with the square foot garden method, it's really easy and there's a book um, online that you can reference. The book will walk you through how easy it is to plant a lot of vegetables in a very small space. I've been using that method now for um, about 12 years with excellent results. So you'll just put it in right there at soil level and keep it watered until it starts to root down. So just make sure you're keeping an eye on this. Give it a little bit of extra attention and before long you'll have a beautiful plant. So if you're using this for the flowers and the fragrance, perhaps to extract some of the essential oils, you can go ahead and do that as soon as it starts to flower. However, if you're using this as an edible lavender, then you'll want to wait one year before consuming because we use the rooting hormone. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.